Hi, British Vogue. I'm Brooklyn Beckham, and this is what is in my bag. First off, my fiance got me this bag. It's my favorite bag. It fits a shit ton of stuff in. I love my tackies. I tried them for the first time a few years ago in New York when I was at school there. Ever since then, absolutely been obsessed with them. Yeah, but I'm from England, you say tackies. Okay, I'm just saying that. You guys say caramel, and I say caramel. Caramel. Okay, this argument can go on forever. The next item, always have my computers, NFT stuff. It's like this because of my fiance, she was bored, and I had all my stickers on here, which I worked really hard to collect. You know when you take a sticker off, it doesn't fully come off, and now it's some sticky little mess. <laughs> the next off, is one of my favorite hats. It's a Wendy's hat. This thing's called an old man hat, right? I don't know why you guys are laughing, but the shape of the hat, I feel like is called an old man hat. Something that I just carry around everywhere with me because I always wake up with bad hair. And this sorts it out. I always listen to music all day, every day. I love Kid Cudi, I love Stone Roses. So these are very important for me. I don't know why my wallet isn't in here. Usually it's in my back pocket, but as you can tell, I like Goya. My mother-in-law bought me this. Credit cards and all of that. But not everyone has a love note from their other half, which I keep always on me, which I have tattooed on the back of my neck, actually. And it says, read this anytime. I realize it after I tattooed on myself that I can't see it on my back of the neck. But something that I always keep in my wallet, always keep very close to me. So I have a, <laughs> I have a label obsession and I'm gonna go into more detail because it sounds ridiculous. These are labels uh, which my missus bought me and she personalized them. When I say label obsession, I have a thing with the feeling of them. And since I was a really young baby, I've always been obsessed with these in like the side of my shirts. Like even when I was playing football as a young kid and I had my football um, kit on and there was some and I was on the field like this my dad always had to like cut them out because it was distracting me. My fiance bought like 10,000 of these and put them all in like a big bag for me. So they go everywhere with me. My phone, my very beautiful screensaver, which is one of my favorite NFTs. English breakfast tea. Being born in England, everyone drinks a lot of tea. And actually, I don't drink much tea now because my fiance makes it 90 degrees in the room and so now i have a gin and tonic instead of going to tea because i sweat very easily but i do love english breakfast tea so good this is a vix nasal sniffer i think is what you call it <laughs> i have really bad hay fever i always wake up in the morning with a blocked nose and this absolutely saves my ass very random, two dog treats. Um, I don't chew on them or anything like that, weirdly, with my label stuff, but I don't know. These are probably for my dogs, but even if I like run into a really cute dog on the street, I kind of like, oh, here you go. Phone charger, which I realized I don't have the other half. Oh no, I have my computer. So, but I don't have my computer charger. My first proper handbag was I think this one, actually. I used to not carry a bag around until I met my fiance. She helps me like make my bag every morning so I don't forget stuff. If I could fit one person in my bag, it would probably be my fiance. Thank you guys so much for watching my In The Bag. I am gonna go and find the other half of my phone charger now.